from La Paloma. See that sunrise coming up there. Got a lot to look at today that we'll take a look at. It's time for your traffic weather together with four warm meteorologist Shay Sorensen. Storm alert is moderate today. Shane, you are tracking some stuff for us. Yes, I am. Uh, we do have a little bit of activity here in eastern Pima County. Not much going on. No lightning, but there is some light to moderate rainfall still coming down over the Catalina. So nice to be waking up to a little bit of rain. Roadway also might be a little bit wet from Oro Valley up towards Catalina just because we did have a little bit of rain earlier this morning. Same thing for the foothills, but most of us have dried out. A couple isolated showers for parts of southeastern Arizona, but most of us again are on the dry side, but that won't be the case all day long. We'll take a look at that coming up. It is going to be hot though all across the board. So while storms won't impact everybody, the heat will. So you got to take it seriously and you have to limit your time outside. Temperatures ranging anywhere from 106 to 108 degrees today and it's going to get even hotter. To the south and east, mainly in the 90s, but like I mentioned, we do have a chance for some thunderstorms today and it looks like we could see some strong thunderstorms, especially tonight and maybe even into early tomorrow morning to the south and east of Tucson. Biggest threats will be the wind. Wind gusts could climb, especially where those thunderstorms develop, those strong thunderstorms could still see some blowing dust. We could still see some minor flooding in low lying areas and even a little bit of hail, but those threats will be low in comparison to the wind and of course heavy rainfall also going to be a big threat for today. Future cast around noon. We've got a couple storms firing up as early as this time over the high terrain looking a little active to the south with some pockets of heavy rainfall. This is 4 p.m. So it might be a little wet commute for some of us, but it looks like the bulk of the activity that we see today won't happen until later tonight. This is 9 p.m. in Cochise County looking pretty active up towards Graham and Greenland County also dealing with some rain there, but we could see some strong storms roll through parts of Santa Cruz and Cochise County around midnight tonight, so it might get a little bit loud there, but most of us will be dry for early tomorrow morning. Rainfall totals looking okay. Huachuca Mountains may be seeing about a half inch to an inch and a half. Uh, Sierra Vista around a quarter of an inch, a few hundredths of an inch for Nogales, Douglas, Wilcox and Safford staying dry here in Tucson, but the Catalinas and rain cons could pick up a little bit of rain. As we head towards the weekend, our uh, attention is going to focus in on the excessive heat. A lot of us will stay dry this weekend, but we're still going to hold on to that moisture and temperatures are going to get very hot. We're talking 105 to 113 degrees, so the warning will go into effect for everybody, uh, excluding the Sky Islands. That will be the place to escape to, um, but temperatures will range anywhere from 105 to 113. So very hot, 109 for your Friday. The excessive heat warning not even effect yet, but 111 for your Saturday, 110 on Sunday. Only a slight chance for thunderstorms this weekend, but as we work our way into early next week, we'll see an uptick in the monsoon. High pressure will make its way towards the Four Corners region, which is favorable for us, and we'll bump that up to a 50% chance Monday and Tuesday, and temperatures will start to fall.